Hi guys, it's Sandy Onlock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to do some what I'm calling layered distress watercolor with distress inks for the United We Flourish blog hop using the brand new Sweet Sprinkles stamp and die set. And it's got two different toppers, and you can do either cupcakes or ice cream cones, because you know, who doesn't like cupcakes and ice cream cones? So I have it all set up in my Misty to do these images first, and I'm going to get them all done and die cut them out to put on my cards. I'm going to do some clean and simples today. But you may have tried doing some stamping with distress inks and gone, man, that looks like poo. And it does look like poo. <laughs> well, not because it's a little poo shape that does look like the emoji. But I mean in color wise that it wasn't very smooth. Well, I'm going to go in with my brush and put some water in there and let the color start to mix. Now you probably know that you can do that. That's not a unique thing. It's not anything I have invented. I'm just dropping some water in and I'm letting it puddle up because puddling up is going to really make that color mix beautifully because I've got two different ink colors in there. But the cool thing that you can do with Distress Inks is when this is still damp, not super wet. If you do it when it's super wet, things will mush. And since this one has a sediment and tiny sprinkles in it, you want to wait until that sheen is gone. So it's still good and wet, but it's not shiny, shiny. There's no puddles left, but the, the ink is all mixed well. And then if you stamp over top of that, then you can get some dimension. Look how nice that looks. I'll put a little bit more along the bottom and it comes out very beautiful. And look at all that dimension we've got on a stamp that was not really meant to do that probably. But you know, I like to do things like that. Now I should take that one off before stamping this. I didn't realize that until I went there and decided it was time to remove that stamp. <laughs> I did, it didn't do any damage since it didn't have any ink on it, but I didn't want it to smush anything since that was still damp ink. I'm gonna do the same thing with each one of these and stamp them with a color or two and then watercolor and then stamp again. So here I'm using my favorite combo of picked raspberry with peacock feathers because they make the most beautiful purple when they go together. And I'm going to do some light watercolor in a few spots. I'm going to leave some white areas, but I'm going to go along some of these lines and just move some of that color around with a little bit of water and not get too fussy with it. If you're using a silver brush, these point really, really well. So this, this is the silver number eight. If you're only gonna get one, get the eight. If you're gonna get two, get the 12, cause you can do beautiful background things with it. And then I'm gonna put some dusty Concord on the bottom and make some dimension out of it. Let it stamp on top of it. And there was some time to dry in there so it wasn't puddly wet again. Now this one I'm gonna do while it is puddly wet. So I'm gonna do, a little bit of worn lipstick and then I'm going to add some seedless preserves to it and do those two colors together and watercolor them first just using some clean water and moving it around. I started with my light color first because if I started with the dark then all of that dark ink will go up and take over the light area so it's going to give me more difference in color if I let the top be light and then move that color down rather than going the opposite direction. And I'm letting it be fairly good and puddled. And I'm not going to wait too long. I don't want it to be like so super mushy because then it'll splooge outside of the stamp. But I'm going to let it be somewhat wet. And you're going to see what's going to happen in a shape like this that's the top of the ice cream cone. And look at the smushy that happened. And I get this really cool texture. Isn't that nifty, 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 nifty? And I also learned a new word recently. And the word is wifty which rhymes with nifty and it means whimsical. So there you go. Here's a new word for you that I got from Miss Merriam Webster's uh, dictionary word of the day one day a couple weeks ago. So there you go. Wifty is a cool word. So these are going to be wifty little cards. I probably should title the video wifty and see if people come and watch it just to find out what wifty is. Or I could even call the technique wifty. That would be kind of cute too. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and get back to the card. I'm using some tea dye and, uh, and uh, 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 old paper for that portion for my little ice cream cone. And now I can die cut them out and that, that topper cuts both of those on the very top. And all I did was 
adhere them with some dimensional adhesive onto a popped panel. I used cream cardstock because watercolor paper is a little on the cream side. And these are some other ones that are over on Ellen Hudson's In Touch blog. Not the regular classroom blog, but the one where she has the newsletter. So these were in the newsletter that went out today as well, using Copic markers to color the dyes. And I will try to put a link to that in there if I can find that. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a really awesome day. Go sprinkle some sweet sprinkles in your life and get this stamp and die set and make something beautiful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.